I love programming. I love spending hours at the keyboard coding, but I am in pain. It's not too bad today, but for the past few weeks, I've been in agony with my back and I don't want it to happen to you. The problem with me is I have a slipped disc, which means that in the spine, the sort of disc between the bones is sort of squeezed out a bit. It's sort of malformed, pushing into the nerves uh, in my back, which is very painful and it actually goes down to my legs as well. Um, I get shivers and pain in my legs and it's from spending too long hunched over a keyboard for hours, days, months, years, decades. Ah, and I don't want it to happen to you. So I'm making this video. Um, what I'm doing for the pain relief is I have um, some tablets here from the hospital. I have some sort of medicated patches. These are pretty good actually. I have a very sexy corset <laughs> for support. Uh, yeah, it hurts to sit down actually. Um, and I've been going to a chiropractor for massage and stretches and things. But I could have avoided all that if I'd listened to the advice and followed at least one or two of the following four steps, which I'd really, really like you to follow. So first of all, daily stretches. My chiropractor told me about this. The more you stretch, uh, particularly your, around your stomach and the upper part of your legs, the more those muscles will be sort of supple and not sort of tightened up and therefore the less strain you'll be putting on your back when you move around. So less likely for it to go. <coughs> this doesn't mean you have to convert to a whole yoga lifestyle, just daily stretches on the floor, sitting down somewhere comfortable is fine. And you don't have to dress into sports gear and get all hot and sweaty. Just do that either in the morning or my chiropractor recommended uh, in the evening after a hot bath when the body is sort of nice and, and relaxed. The next thing is to stop for regular breaks and go for a, just a short walk. Um, so at least every hour, just get up, take a break from the computer, walk around, go outside. And obviously a long walk is better. And that's not just going to help build up strength again around the, the central part of your body and the upper part of your legs. But it's also going to refresh your brain, which is better for coding. And so many times I've been stuck on a problem. I go for a walk or something and I come back and it's like, oh yeah, I should have tried that. And it doesn't always work, but sometimes it's a really nice refresh, a reset of the brain. The third thing is to avoid coding late into the night. And we all do this, and sometimes we even show off about it. Yeah, I coded through the night. But please, please don't. The more tired we get, the less aware we are of our posture. We sort of lose focus, lose concentration. Not only is our coding not going to be as good, but gradually we'll sort of like sink lower and lower, hunch over the keyboard. And of course, it's a lot of strain on the back. And we can tell when we get up, it's like, oh, that's a bit sore. It might be a bit sore now, but it's going to build up over the years until eventually your back is just going to say, no more. The final thing is to think about the ergonomics, the environment of your coding setup. Now, I thought I was doing okay. I've got a nice uh, stand here, lifting the computer up to sort of like, closer to my, my line of view. I've got an ergonomic chair, which is really, really good, but still I was sort of somehow <laughs> hunched over it. It wasn't very good. And so I've heard so many people recommend a standing desk. I finally started to go in that direction. Now at the moment, I'm just using a small table on top of my regular desk and then this stand on top of that, a bit like this. So it's kind of makeshift, but I can really feel it making a difference already. I'm not able to stand up for long periods of time just yet. In fact, even sitting down here, it's starting to hurt. But when I do stand up, I can feel that I'm just moving around more than I would do if I was sitting down in front of the keyboard. So please give it a try, even if it's just something temporary to see if you like it before you go and splash out on a proper standing desk. I haven't heard anybody say anything bad about a standing desk. So I think it's definitely going to be a big improvement. So there you go, my four tips. They're not even tips, they're please. Please, please, please do these things so that you don't end up like me. It's been so painful. At times I couldn't even move and we just want to have fun and create things. And it really gets in the way. I've had to cancel so many things because of this back over the past few weeks. And you can avoid this if you follow the advice in this video. So please do yourself a favor and code healthily.